He gives you the cash. He so does give you the cash. He will get money from his videos. He will do what he can. My name is StarkyBooty32. And in today's video, I am going to be doing a tier list of some of the first world countries. And I am going to be ranking them from the best first world country to the worst fir first world country. Now, as many of you um, have been unaware, for a long time, I have have um, wanted to make tier list videos on my YouTube channel because I know that other YouTubers that I associate with like Rag Reynolds has made some tier list videos for a very uh, long time for over a year now and I do know that Lodal has started making some tier list videos on his channel and I am finally doing it now and I'm finally uh, making making a tier list of um, the first world countries and which ones are the best and which ones are the worst. I got inspiration for this video from Lodal's new video where he uh, ranked all of these countries that are in here and ranked which ones were the best and which ones were the worst. And I'm going to do the same thing for my first uh, tier list video. And without any further ado, let me get right into this. So in regards to uh, first world countries, uh, this doesn't have all of the first world countries, obviously, because you can't really fit them all on, I don't think. But it has some of the most known uh, first world countries, the most uh, 15 known uh, first world countries. And um, we are going to be ranking them from which ones are the best and uh, which ones are the worst. So let's start off here. We have got Japan. Uh, I have been to Japan before, like almost two years ago, and I thought it was really a great country. Although there are a lot of other like European uh, countries on here. Um, although I would think that uh, Japan is uh, probably... Oh, I, I'm going to put it in A tier. It, it's uh, great, but it's probably not as great as some of like the other countries here. It's one of the most developed countries in Asia, that's for sure. But uh, Japan um, obviously isn't as great as a lot of the other countries. But it's nice I've been there. And I think it is a really great country uh, to visit. Next up, we have got South. Korea. South Korea uh, is kind of like Japan. I mean, um, it's kind of, it's near Japan, that's one thing, and it's just as developed as Japan is. But I do not know which one is better. Uh, uh, I'm obviously uh, I'm not going to say whether or not the Japanese or the Koreans are better. I don't think uh, one of them is better than the other. That that would be racist of me to say that. But. I uh, think that Japan and South Korea do have the same business and they both are very well uh, developed countries. So I'm just going to put uh, South Korea on par with Japan in a tier. Next up, we have the Netherlands. Now, the Netherlands is quite an interesting place because for one thing, um, um, they... Uh, uh, don't have any mountains there, but then again, it's also at a risk of uh, flooding and um, its city of Amsterdam um, could like be flooded and could be underwater in the next few decades if we don't fix climate change. I know that the Netherlands isn't are really a big European country and like there are no mountains or really great geographical features there but I do think the Dutch do have kind of a fancy culture like uh, the Dutch do um, seem to have a very interesting culture um, although um, judging by how like the Netherlands doesn't really have that fascinating of land features and like how they, uh, they, they do have like Amsterdam, which isn't that fascinating of a city. You know what? I'm going to put the Netherlands in A tier. 
better than uh, Japan and South Korea. I mean, it's not as interesting, but I, I still think it does have uh, some value. I mean, like, the Netherlands has floods, but uh, J Japan has earthquakes and tsunamis. What's worse when you think about it? I don't really know. I think those two natural disasters are equal, like Chedley, maybe. So that's why I put them uh, beside each other there. Next up, we have Belgium. Next to the Netherlands, it's just like the Netherlands, although I think uh, Belgium isn't as interesting as the Netherlands. It's kind of a mix of French, German and Dutch, so uh, it's probably a bit... Uh, the, the Netherlands is probably, like, a bit more interesting, but Belgium, on the other hand, not really that interesting. I mean, I, do, I did hear that uh, Belgium does have a lot of good chocolate, and it uh, does have, like, some influence on the world, but in terms of the country overall, not that interesting. The Netherlands is more interesting. Italy. It... Italy um, is a country that I think I would be able to live in. I mean, I do know that it has like a Mediterranean climate. Uh, it's not really as temperate as the other four that are up here. But then again, Italy isn't... Uh, da, da, Italy does, like, have some hot areas, but it also has, like, some cold areas. I mean, I'm pretty sure if I ever uh, moved to Italy, I'd probably live in the north and probably not, like, the south, because I think the north uh, definitely feels more hospitable, but the south would be, like, very boiling. But th the north wouldn't uh, be that bad, except for in summer. But... Uh, Judging by its climate, I'm going to put Italy in B tier. Norway. S. Norway is beautiful in winter time. There is a lot of snow there in the winter, and it is even so far up north that you can see an aurora borealis and the northern lights in winter. Although it would be annoying in summer because the sun would be up for like 20 hours, um, and when I went to Scandinavia once, I found that very annoying. But in winter, Norway is very beautiful. Beautiful. And Norway is one of the safest countries in the world and one of the most hospitable countries. And I think that it, it is um, a true winter wonderland and, and a country which does certainly have wonders. Australia, my country, see worse than Italy, most of it is hot, most of Australia is desolate, I mean, we've got poisonous animals here, like, uh, really poisonous animals, and it's also really hot, the accents are really irritating as well, I mean, I don't hate Australia, I used to hate Australia, but I don't anymore, but the stereotypes of my country are as I've said again and again, are pretty crazy. And um, also, um, this country doesn't really have any places that I would really like to live in, except for except for, like, the south, like, Victoria, where I live, and, like, Van Diemen's land. But, um, Australia does kind of have more hotter areas than Italy, and, like, its stereotypes are kind of, uh, a bit, like, worse than Italian stereotypes, so I'm gonna put Australia in C tier because of that. The United Kingdom, S- the top of this tier, I love the UK. I want to move there one that one day. I am planning to move to England later in life, but if you think about it, the United Kingdom is one of the greatest countries in the world. I really love the UK. It's one of my uh, favourite countries, and I've said that it's one of my uh, favourite countries for a very long time. You've got, like, England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, and they're called 
cultural differences. I mean, Rag Reynolds is from Scotland. I know him from there. But England... <coughs> Excuse me, England, on the other hand, is very great with like London and excuse me again, England's great with like London and like uh, with uh, tea and like with its luscious uh, green like countryside. And the UK's climate is also uh, very um, hospitable and it's got a nice green countryside. So, yeah, the UK instant S at the, the, the very top of S ju just because it's that great. Canada. Yep, another S. Although is Canada better than the UK? I'll put it put it on par with the UK. Canada, a fantastic country. I mean, if you think about it, it's one of the safest countries in the world. And uh, Australia has a very hot to dry and arid climate. A lot of like in a lot of places, but Canada has got a nice cold freezing climate, and I prefer that over this very like hot desolate um land. I I prefer this freezing uh. Cold Colds and frozen waste. Well, not not a wasteland. I'm not gonna say that about uh, Canada. I mean, Canada's kind of desolate too because most of it um, is uninhabited. But uh, yeah, Canada is a uh, great. It is like among one of the greatest uh, countries um, in the world and one of the most safest countries. And the vo a lot of the voice actors from MLP FIM also come from there. And as a brony, I do really appreciate that about Canada and um, just how high standard of living and how there's uh, snow and how it's really uh, freezing. It's certainly a, com a country I'm comfortable with living in. So yeah, I'm putting it in S. New Zealand. I'll put it at the bottom of this. The only thing that New S that uh, New Zealand lacks is like a white Christmas because it's summer in New Zealand like around Christmas. New Zealand is definitely better than Australia uh, though. That's uh, one thing for sure. But I, I think New Zealand um, is great. Like it, it has a pretty like cool climate. It has nice mountains where you can go skiing and it is like one of the uh, greatest wondrous countries in the world um, and uh, New Zealand's climate is certainly one that I feel is very hospitable and yeah I, I will uh, definitely uh, put New Zealand uh, here. United States. I want to put the US in S, but the United States, I think, is one of the greatest countries in the world. I certainly think it's way better than Australia, but there are kind of some political issues in the US, you know, around like the school shootings and um, how there is like a terrible infrastructure and all of all of uh, that and how it, there is a lot of political unrest with its political system. Although for the most part, America isn't really that bad. And I think it's one of the greatest countries. But judging by um, some of like the political unrest that there is in the country, I... I'm going to put it at in A, at the very bottom of A. I mean, it's certainly better than Australia. I know Lodal is going to get triggered for me for saying that. He thinks Australia is better than the US, but I think the US is better than Australia. But um, it, it's it's got some problems, but it's great for the most part. And I'll put it at the very bottom of A. Spain. Spain's the worst one on this list. I'm gonna put it in D. It's very hot 
everywhere. There are a lot of deserts in it, and it's got a really warm Mediterranean climate, and that's not really one that I would want to really live in. And out of all the countries uh, on here, Spain is probably the one that I would uh, want to live in the least. It's probably hotter than Australia, seeing as Spain uh, seems to be hot almost everywhere. Australia is hot al almost everywhere, but with the exception of Victoria and Van Diemen's land. But uh, I'm putting Spain in G because it's hot everywhere and it's got like a very um, humid and very uh, scorching Mediterranean climate. I would not, uh, that was this chord, sorry. But yeah, I would not be comfortable with living in Spain. Raka and also also said that he went uh, to Spain and he said that it was uh, kind of shitty when he went there and that it wasn't a great experience for him. I don't think I would blame him. I have been to Spain before, but, um, and I don't think it's bad, but um, judging by how hot it, hot it is, I will put it in DTR. France. Uh, I do think France is okay. I'll put it in between Norway and New Zealand because, uh, for one thing, France does have Paris, and Paris is like one of the uh, really developed cities in the world, and a lot of people come over uh, to it to like see like its shopping and like how like grand and beautiful it is, and see the Eiffel Tower and that. And France certainly does have a very uh, great climate and great uh, culture, and uh, France is overall just really great, and um, there are barely any uh, problems uh, with it. Although the only thing that's really bad about France is escargot. Escargot is like uh, s snails uh, that people eat. Yeah, people eat snails that says cargo and that's disgusting but overall France is pretty okay and I, I think it's worthy of uh, being up here and it's certainly a, a fine country. Germany. Germany is awesome. I have been to Germany before and I thought it was really fantastic. I'm putting Germany on par with France uh, because um, they do have like kind of a similar uh, climate being in Central Europe and that. And I have been to Munich and when I went there it was just very grand and pretty like great with all the architecture and that. And I would say that's kind of like similar to Paris. Um, and when I went to Germany as well, I also uh, remember I went to New Schwanstein, which is like a castle that was the basis for the Disney castle. That was also great as well. And Germany felt like a great experience. And I think, yeah, de definitely uh, worthy of being in Estia, on par with France, because, like, uh, judging by the climate, they are pretty uh, similar, although they do have a, a few cultural differences, but I do really like Germany. Ich liebe Deutschland, and I am learning German, and yeah, the, the, the language is great. And finally, we have Sweden. On par with Norway, I have also been to sorry about that, there was an ad down there. I have also been to Sweden. The only uh, downside of going was that we went in the summer, but I would like uh, to have gone in the winter when uh, there was snow. But we went in summer where it was 20 hours of daylight and that was really annoying. But uh, Sweden is just like Norway, they're next to each other. And if you go in there, 
in winter. You can see the northern lights and it is just uh, fantastic. And it is, a winter, it, it is a winter wonderland in winter, just like Norway is. And it is one of the safest countries in the world. And yeah, I can't say much else, but it's just like uh, Norway. And Norway is up here in Estia. So yeah, Sweden is uh, really great. But anyway, everyone, that is my tier list, my first ever tier list that I've ever done on this channel of uh, the first world countries. I will be posting this on Twitter and uh, as Lodal said in his video that he made on this, he's going to see whether or not mine is right or wrong. Pretty sure it's uh, very right for the most part. Well, it's just my opinion, so uh, whatever he's saying, uh, that's just his opinion whether or not he thinks it's right, right or wrong. But yeah, here are just uh, the countries that I uh, think are the best and the worst, the, the first world countries. But yeah, I will be uh, posting this on Twitter, and as Lodal uh, said, he will be checking it to see whether or not it's right or wrong. And yeah, I can't wait to make more tier list videos like this on this channel. It's going to be uh, very great, and hopefully I'll be able to get a lot more content out there, and hopefully it will be able to give me a lot more attention, perhaps, because, I mean, I I probably will get, like, a hundred subscribers, like, within, like, a few months if I make tier list videos, but oh, I don't know about that. I'll have to see, but who knows? Uh, this uh, video was fun to do, um, and I can't wait for any more, any, uh, other tier list uh, videos that I am going to be uh, doing on this channel. But yeah, that's it. This is my tier list of uh, the first world countries. And I will see you all in another tier list video that I am going to do sometime in the future. Until next time, my name is Starkybooty32 and thank you for listening, humanity.